in today's episode we will be launching this plane that will be taking from our KSC and go all the way to the island runway. So let's get into the building procedure. So first we want to put the cockpit, then we're going to be putting some science material like materials bay, mystery goose, and then I want to be attaching all kinds of wonderful science experiments that we will be needing. I mean, we just need a tiny bit boost of science uh, to be able to unlock the next node. So I'm trying, trying to see if I can milk all the science that I can on Kerbin without going further apart. There we go, we have the tail fin, let's put some wings and I'm gonna be putting the mystery go ahead and let's see, I need uh, those and then I need some tail fins. I'm gonna place those as the reaction surfaces, good. So far it looks aerodynamic, let me put some ailerons, there we go. And once we're done with that, then we're gonna be attaching some fuselage and engines obviously because um, yeah my plane does need its engines weirdly enough to be able to function so yeah there we go yeah that looks good enough let me see if i can attach this to the fuselage because then they're correctly aligned um center of lift and center of mass look okay the craft will they're not too close so that's a little bit that's going to be making a craft a little bit harder to maneuver but regardless why are the wheels pointing backwards? Uh, can we just turn them around? Yeah, okay, that looks better. It's a tricycle, it's not a perfect tricycle. Okay, oh, all right. I guess that's okay. Good, that looks good enough to me. Science experiments, let's just make sure that we do put the control surfaces. Okay, you control pitch and yaw, you control the uh, pitch and roll pitch and roll and then the tail fin controls the yaw just to make sure that all of them are set uh, then we want to put putting flaps as a separate separate folder so there we go and uh, then we want to be putting the abort system which i'm going to be calling the abort system because i am going to be put some parachutes so in case that something happens we will be able to just make sure that we fix and land, <laughs> so to say. Let's go and continue building it so we advance our science by a little bit. So basically I just need to uh, be able that uh, we get this extra boost of science because I need to unlock the life support to be able to get my Kerbals all the way to the moon. Yes, and first things first, I want to be re researching the fuel lines and the space exploration or actually a command pods because I really need the command pods to be able to get there. I need two person command pods so that I can start resetting the experiments. I do have the SP pod, but I don't think it's ideal. By the way, those actually simple command pods will give me small life support cans. So I'm going to take those. Yes, thank you. And that will give me a two person. And I think the heavier rocketry will allow me to basically boost these things up to orbit and we also have the fuel system which would give me the fuel lines and the fuselages so like i said i unlocked two but i need some extra science to unlock the third so so let's get into things three two one go and we're going up and Finally, if you look at this, we are going to go and take off and then we need to get onto the island runway. These planes in the beginning are really dinky and small and not ideal, not by a long shot, but at least they work. So, and of course, our pilot du jour is Kiltless Kermans, who is one of my uh, longtime supporters and patrons. Thank you so much for your support. By, by the way, all of the guys that will be featured in this playthrough are either my patrons or YouTube members. And if you want to get on this roster, then either join me or on the, my YouTube membership or on the Patreon. Uh, this is just a little bit extra way of me saying thank you to the guys who have been supporting and me, who have been awesome and who have allowed me to basically continue to do what I do and do what I love. So. Once again, thank you very much, you're awesome. Now, that being said, uh, we are preparing for the landing, the landing gear. I'm a little bit, so to say, concerned. 
because this uh, runway looks very dinky. Guiltless, I hope you can land, buddy. Hope I don't kill uh, one of my patrons. Okay, and tell you what, I'm gonna use the abort system to land quickly. Now, if that's not a landing, well, any landing that can walk away from essentially is a good landing. So, science time. Lock pressure, atmospheric scan, temperature, science junior, let's do the materials bay, let's do the mystery goo, let's kill the engines by the way so something doesn't blow up, uh, let's do a crew report, mystery goo, perfect, then kiltless you're, you're gonna get out buddy, you're gonna do the EVA report and take the surface sample. There we go. And finally you're gonna take an awesome selfie beside the plane because well, yeah, we tend to do those things, okay? Photo to opportunity time. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so that will provide us with some science. Let's board and get us some science. And then that reminded me we are at 88 science and I need 90. Damn it. Okay, Kiltless, you have performed your job. Thank you very much. You have earned some cool ribbons. Beautiful. Uh, I need some extra science and that brings me to an idea well I have a lander before and I have never grabbed the science from the runway so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the test lander and I'm just gonna post it on the runway and hopefully milk it for all the sweet sweet science there we go I'm just adding here at the VAB I'm gonna add the materials bay and the mystery goo because those will actually help me get some more science so well, well, well where we go okay let's grab the materials bay and I need the mystery goo there we go and then we're gonna be switching to the runway editor because I want to get these on the runway to perform the science by the way just building this will actually probably give me two science but I don't want to cheat so I really want to utilize all this to actually get uh, and unlock the next node, which will be the heavy rocketry or heavier rocketry, which will give me 1.875 engines, among others, the Bobcat. And that will be really important to help me get this science stuff up in the air. All right, there we go. Beautiful. And let's just... Uh, well, the good thing for the SPH, you don't need to roll it out. Okay, we have 97, so... I will actually unlock the heavy rocketry, the bobcat and all others, right? Right? Right. Yeah, bobcat. I need it. All right. Good. All right. And I think I just wait for the dawn and then we're going to be launching the science craft. So let me see just time warp, heavy rocketry, and there we go. So, let's grab the science. Mystery Goo, thank you very much. Bob is actually doing here because we're going nowhere. So he's just basically collecting all the science and then we'll be turning in. I thought about launching it, but really no point. So, crew report, EVA report, and take the surface sample of the runway. You don't need the spacesuit for it, right? Okay, normal recovery, that gives us some extra science. So that's beautiful and actually that will help us progress further towards our orbiter that where we will be able to launch materials based science and also have some life support so that we can actually get even to the moon. But of course we just do the upgrades and then that will be happening in the next episode. So once again guys Thank you very much and I will be seeing you in the next one. So do check out the top right corner just in case that it might have already been published.